controversial move in one Mississippi town. Two high schools, one predominantly black, the other mostly white. But so close, the railroad tracks, the only thing between them. A court tonight ordering the two schools to integrate to create a more diverse student body in both schools. But not everyone is happy. Here's ABC's Steve Osinsami. The court order sounds damning and forces the Cleveland, Mississippi School District to combine schools, creating new ones that aren't so racially separate. Eastside High, for example, that's 100% African American, would merge with Cleveland High, that's predominantly white. But here's a wrinkle. The black school is the one with better scores. Take a look at a map of the town. An old railroad line divides it. Schools with the most white students are on this side of the tracks. Schools almost entirely black are on the other. Some families worry that busing students around will encourage more white families to leave. Bad idea because you're trying to force kids to go to schools they don't want to go to. And it's going to cause people to move or go to a different school. No one is accusing current school officials of willfully segregating children like it was 1950. But federal officials say they're not doing enough to keep schools from becoming segregated on their own. It's an issue across the country. Here's a look at some of the most segregated states for black students. New York, California, Illinois, and Maryland topped the list. In a statement tonight, Mississippi school officials say they plan to appeal.